Welcome, my dear Virgos, to your message from Spirit for July. We're going to go ahead and look at all the possible messages coming in from Spirit for you in the month of July. Um, just remember, my lovely Virgos, if the messages that come through do not resonate with you, not to worry. It just means that at this time, it's just not meant to be your reading. And you can go ahead and look at your moon, rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant information for you. I'm going to start off with the Oracle cards just to give us a good idea of the main themes coming through and then I'm going to clarify everything with Tara. Right, oh this looks like a very interesting message coming through for you. Very, very interesting. So let me make sure you can see everything nice and clear. Okay, right. So the first card we get is the clarity card, okay. So let's see what Spirit is referring to in terms of clarity. Right, the full. I can't believe it. I'm going to just take one more card on the full, and we've got Page of Swords. Wow. Okay. Right. So, what with this Clarity card, Virgo, there is probably a new opportunity, a new in any in, in a particular area of your life that. It's, it's, it's coming up. It could just take it as it resonates for your, in terms of your life. It could be love, it could be work, it could be money, it could be family, but there's something new. With a full coming in, there's something new coming in. Clarity comes in with the Page of Swords just to tell us that you need to really look at this carefully, okay? look at every single aspect of it yes it's great to be enthusiastic yes it's great that there's there's a lot of potential a lot of newness coming in but spirit wants you to be very clear about where you're going and what you're doing and when the when sometimes with the full we get this idea of just taking a blind leap of faith and spirit doesn't want you to it's not saying don't take the leap of faith, but you do, definitely Spirit doesn't want you to take a blind leap, especially with the Clarity card coming in. They want you to, if you're going to take this leap of faith, it's good and well, but you don't, but don't take it blindly. Know exactly what you're getting yourself into and what the possible outcomes could be. Then we've got this business um, card coming through from Venus. So let's see what this business is about. Is it actual business? Let's see what this is all about. Oh, this is nice. Lovely. Look at this. Virgo. Okay. So guys, when we get business, this is anything to do with your money, your finances, your job. Um, so looking for a job, promotion, starting a new business, starting a new venture, anything to do with that. Okay. What is such a positive, positive card. We've got the um, star card coming in. Star card is like basically, you know, you're having a wish and bringing the wish down. There's something incredibly positive that's going to happen for you with regards to that. So if you're looking for a job, this could this is a very auspicious sign. Looking to start a new business, this could be a great month for it. And this is incredibly positive because it also tells me that whatever it is that has to do with the job, the money, the business, it's also we're going to be very fulfilling from a, from a soul soul perspective. You've got Venus sign right ruling the heart. It's going to not only fill up your pockets with money, which is always a wonderful thing, but your heart and soul are going to be filled as well. You, it's going to be it's going to be good for you. It's like a wish fulfillment here. It's just really really positive. A lovely message. Then we've got to choose a new direction. Okay, so now what does Spirit want you to choose a new direction in terms of? Let's see what this new direction is all about. Okay, what is this new direction all about? So we've got the Queen of Cups and I'm going to pull one more so I can get a nice idea what this is all about. Three of Cups. Okay. All right, so I tell you exactly what this new direction is, guys. I think, especially for a lot of you who were in a previous job, 
position that was all about the money, okay, all about the money, this, this is this time. They're asking you to choose something that there is a balance between the heart and the money, okay? Because when I've got here the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is all about being balanced emotionally, okay? And being balanced emotionally brings about... Um, it's, it's like no matter how good work is and, and no matter how much money you make, if you don't feel good and if your the people who around you who love and support you don't get the best from you, then what's the use? The angels, spirit wants you to know if previous times you have just gone after positions, jobs, businesses, that was all about money, please do it differently this time. Do it differently so that you've, your heart and your money are both equally met, that you feel good, okay, with the people that you work with. Because when you have that, it's going to be a very, very winning combination for you. This is going to be a very winning combination. Then we've got this beautiful card, Awakening. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. This integration is definitely you integrating your the the you know the finances and the heart and the soul all into one and it's a whole new way of being for you so let me pull a tarot for you wow what a clear message coming through for you libra what a clear message the four of ones oh wow guys this is so nice it's so beautiful spirit is absolutely telling you here if you integrate heart based um your heart-based feeling, your soul-based feeling with your, your desire to, of course, progress in, in the corporate world financially. If you integrate it all, it's a whole new way of being and you are going to have reason to celebrate. The Four of Wands is about celebrating, rejoicing, dancing, being happy, being merry, right? Because what you are doing this time, which you are not, you're choosing a new direction. So if before, and this can also work the other way around, Libra, if before you only went for a heart-based thing, so you maybe you worked in some kind of like an NGO or charity for very, very little money, Spirit's saying you don't have to do that. You can get both, right? You can get both. You can get the finances and you can find a position that is, um, that's going to um, give you a good income and fill you up. It, 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 what, what, you, what you felt was never possible is actually possible. This is the star coming in saying, guys, it's here. It's, it's, there is a possibility here. Choose something different. Choose something that fills all of you up not just one side okay not just the money not just the you know the, the the hard work okay wonderful reading let's pull another oracle card for you just to get a final message from spirit for you lovely virgos dove spirit be at peace guys you can be at peace if you are well paid doesn't mean you have to let go of being fulfilled emotionally and and um heart-based okay when you got all the aspects of your heart finances and and soul fulfilled you're going to be at peace it's going to bring in a whole new era for you lovely i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and i'm sending you lots of love